There's a tool that's on SEO book. It's a Firefox plugin for SEO on SEO book. Grab it. You can start to have your SERPs look like this. When I do a search, this is what Google looks like for me. I'll show you right now. Let's search for, let's see if I'm a liar today. Where are we? Are we somewhere in the top 10 still? Or did we get bumped? We got bumped! Ouch! We should be in there. No, there we are. We're number three. Sorry. Um, but look at, my, look at my SERPs. Like, I have keyword research. I click on this, it takes me out to that thing where we saw the shocks, Nike shocks thing. It takes me out to there. So it's going to, and this tool does not always work because there we go. Cool. So I'm one link away from that when I do a search. Next thing you'll see, the AdWords sandbox, which many of you have seen. Traffic estimator I don't use so much. Google Trends is linked right from here. The best thing ever is this CSV. If you click CSV, it'll dump down all these things that you see at the bottom of my listings, what the page rank of the site is, when's the last time it was cached, what's the domain age, how many links it's got from Yahoo, whether or not it's in the supplemental, so that's what I wanted to, uh, that's what prompted me. Now some of these are on demand and some automatically show up and I'll show you guys the difference because I don't have a lot of time but this is one of the things that will save you a ton of time. And I can also do the who is. But there's a lot more than just that and you know what, let me go through them really quick. One thing you'll see, see how my SERPs are numbered over here? One, two, three, etc. The great thing about this plugin, or no, this is a, that's a different plugin. That is, um, you got to install Grease Monkey in Firefox and then you just Google the word, Google numbered results. The number one listing, of course, is the plugin that you need for that. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I think it's on like jimbeamsomething.com or whatever. But, um, and I, it's in my link, so I'll just give them to you if, you, if you're going to have a hard time remembering it. But, um, but numbering your results makes it so much easier for you to figure out exactly where you're ranking or where someone else is ranking because now you don't have to go, is that one, two, that one's indented, is that four? Instead, this is why my SERPs come back with 50 results at a time. Because I can go, oh, there's my competitor at number 29 versus trying to do all the counting, which is such a pain. How many of you have done that where you're sitting there going, one, two, three, four, ah, where is it? Did I lose my train of thought? So that's a really good tool to use. And kicking it out in a CSV will get you all this information if you want. Whether or not it's linked in Delicious, how many links it's got from Delicious, how many links it's got from Yahoo, how many EDU links they have according to Yahoo, how many .gov links they have, um, whether or not they're in Technorati, what their Alexa rating is, um, whether or not they're in supplemental, if they're in the open directory, if they're linked from um, blog lines or Wikipedia. Now, it also automatically puts red around any link that's a nofollow. So when I do um, SEO, Wikipedia, all right, so if I go on a Wikipedia page, it's going to automatically put in red anything that's been nofollowed. It helps you not have to look into the code to see if your link partners are saying, yeah, we'll swap links and then they nofollow it. So see where it says spam message right here? That's highlighted in red because it's linking out to another website. And I don't have to go through their code to see which terms they're nofollowing and which ones they're not. Once again, this tool will save you hours and if you dump something out in a CSV and are very good in Excel, you can do tons of competitive research to see who's got the most links, who's got the most links from .edu's, .gov's, Delicious, whatever, Technorati. It's all there and you can just use pivot tables and things to call out the data instead of sitting there and running those individual searches in Yahoo and do a search for them and see how many .gov's or .edu's come back. This tool alone can probably save you 10, 15 hours a month on your SEO efforts when you're doing anything related to competitiveness.